Yo, what's up, y'all? What's good? What's good? Welcome to your love readings. This is a love reading for Libra. And Libra Cross Watchers, happy birthday, y'all. We are currently leaving Libra season. So if you already had your birthday, hope it was fantastic. If you haven't quite had it yet. And if you probably have had it, I think, at this point. Because I... I think we've already moved past the cusp season. I gotta check the dates and shit. I've been busy, y'all. I'm not feeling too good. Anyway, happy birthday, whether you already had it or not. Um, so I'm gonna use a deck that I created myself. And I'm gonna look at the brutal truth for your person. Okay. Um, Please forgive me ahead of time if I'm a little out of it. Um, it's been a really busy day and I haven't been feeling very good lately, but we're going to push forward. So I've already prepared the deck and we're going to go ahead and just get started, okay? All right. I want to thank you guys for all of your likes, shares, your subscriptions. Your beautiful comments, your donations, your bookings, all of those things, or just one of those things on their own, while well, you have a lot, uh, really helps our channel to grow a lot, okay? Um, I don't know how that moved, but hmm, it's like it just moved on its own, forget about it. Okay, anyway, uh, all fuckery aside, I want to uh, let you guys know if you're interested in taking advantage of that uh, sale that I have for, gosh, I'm already two minutes in, I'm so sorry. For $10.10 for a per private reading, hit me up by October 31st because that is the last day of the sale. Finito. It is over after this. Alright, Libra, so. Off the cuff, we got Earth Angel. So that's... Oh no. Yeah, I might have to start this over again. I heard the kitty scream outside. That's not good. It's dark as fuck. I don't even know how I'd find her. Yeah. Um, fuck. Fuck. Did she run back inside? Did she run back inside? Oh, he is concerned as a motherfucker. Do I need to go down there? Alright. I don't know. I'm not going to quit recording yet. I don't know why, but give me just a minute.
un momento. Is it good, son? All right, well. Five minutes in. All right, so I don't know. I felt like I was supposed to just keep it rolling. I don't know if you're still here and you're still watching, then you know, cool. And somehow that relates to you, like a cat being chased and shit. I don't fucking know. But I. Anyway, I took care of it in the way that it felt right. And I'm on it. So, anyway. Earth Angel. Interesting. Earth Angel. We save things, right? And I'll go down there and kick a motherfucking predator's fucking head in. But I just, it's not, I don't feel like I'm supposed to do that. So, alright. Power hungry and dangerous. Hey. That's maybe totally opposite of Earth Angel energy. Intimate bond. Well, who is that with? Hope it's not with this person. Mama's boy for real. Mmm. Mmm. Yee. Tweaker. Oh, this motherfucker right here. Okay, somebody's on some bullshit. Strong compassion. Two totally different energies here. Karmic rewards coming for the Earth Angel. I'd say you earned it, especially if you're still watching this fucking video. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, oh. Shrunk shaft. So... Yeah, this motherfucker right here. We got somebody who's a little itty bitty in the downstairs department. And yeah, that's a problem for him. Underestimated. So somebody underestimated you. I love you, but I can't leave. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that somebody... This isn't necessarily directly related to somebody's physical attributes, okay? Now, shrunk, shrunk shaft is something that is channeled to me. No shit, okay? This is a channel deck. I did not just sit down like, oh, I'm just going to make this real funny. <laughs> uh-uh. I don't think I would have chosen this. This is fucking channeled. This is, like, basically somebody who's a coward. Okay, that's basically what that is. It could be about somebody's actual body but it's not that's not that would just be like oh okay it's really about somebody just being a coward like this I love you but I can't leave so somebody here is uh, a bit of a coward I have launder that money so somebody is on the deal doing some shady shit here yeah this shit is complex oh I say I love you through an evil grin. Well, this is like a straight fucking villain we got here. Spoiled fucking brat. Okay. So, and on the bottom of the deck we have, you make me feel alive. Not cool, dude. Okay, this literally looks like an earth angel is like in, a pre in the presence of a predatory energy. And that is really crazy. Crazy considering what happened at the beginning of this reading when I heard the kitty downstairs screaming like she was getting chased by something fuck okay so like you're probably not like the predator energy watching this badass movie by the way predator but anyway um i'm guessing you're the earth angel it's doubtful that this motherfucker right here is going to be watching tarot possible Doubtful. Possible. <sighs> Regardless. If you are this motherfucker right here. Get some fucking help. Because. This shit's not cool. Um. I just want to say like. If this person does tell you that they love you. Or if they have told you. That they love you. Or you're dealing with somebody who's like, I love you, but I can't leave. Like, that's a fucking lie. 
This is probably a sociopath, even though I don't see the card here. I don't think this person's capable of love. This person definitely doesn't love you. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that right now. I know it says this shit is complex, but it looks real motherfucking simple to me from all these cards that I'm seeing. So I think that there is somebody who's trying to, like, present, like, a facade of complexity, but it's just a fucking, like, that's a lie. Somebody here is not, this is not complex, this is very simple. Somebody here is probably dr doing drugs, or they're dealing drugs with Tweaker and launder that money. This could be a drug dealer here. You know, I'm not casting any shade on drug dealers per se, but... Um, it's just what I see. There's no judgment. I'm not making any judgments here except for if you are, you know, power hungry and dangerous and you're a fucking mama's boy and you're in this shrunk shaft energy and you're fucking telling people that, that you love them through an evil grin. I mean, fuck off. That's basically my stance on that and I feel that that is how you should be with this type of a person as well and I would say get away from somebody like this as fast as possible and make sure that you protect yourself against them because this is somebody who I mean we've got the word evil here okay so that should probably tell you everything that you need to know and uh, I feel like this is somebody who is like targeting probably you or whoever this earth angel is. This earth angel is being targeted. I mean, this is a romantic reading, so I don't know if it's an ex of yours. I hope it's not somebody you're currently in a relationship with. If so, I'd say pack your shit and get the fuck out of Dodge, yo. Okay, like if somebody's... <sighs> you know, just trying to run some fucking game on you and you happened upon this reading and you were looking for a fucking hidden truth, this is it. Jump on the fucking next train out of to fucking nowhere if you have to. Like, fuck this. Don't be with somebody like this. If you're not with somebody, if you're not with this person, they, they're coming up right next to you in this reading, okay? So they feel like they have a very intimate bond with you. Alright, it could be a karmic, it could be a karmic of yours, especially because we have karmic rewards coming. So this is maybe somebody who you, you know, God decided that you needed to have uh, a relationship with this person or some, something, a situationship, something. You had to know this person. This was a karmic, this was somebody who was supposed to teach you lessons, probably teach you how to choose yourself and self-love. This person probably um, mirrors one of your parents or somebody who you knew from your past who was um, a fucking asshole, okay? Just a fucking trash ass motherfucker. Uh, this person, they just want power over you. And that's what it is. Like, they look at you as, I wouldn't even say like a fucking, you know how they used to say like a notch on their belt or whatever. It's it's way more than that. Like, this person wants to feel like they own you. Because this person looks at people as though they are possessions. And it's because it stems from this right here. Being a fucking mama's boy. This fucking shrunk shaft mama's boy energy. Being babied. Not being, not getting proper discipline as a child. Maybe didn't even fucking have. Anyway, I'm not going to go into it. That could happen in a million different ways. But this is somebody who they, um, like it says, this person's dangerous. Okay, and that could be in a lot of different ways. I mean, this could be a fucking murderer. I don't fucking know. This could be just somebody who wants to beat the fuck out of you. This could be just somebody who wants to fuck your head up, wants to fuck your emotions up. But this person means you harm. That's what what I'm feeling. This person means this earth angel harm. You're being targeted. They, they, they target you. They see that you are compassionate, you know, or they have targeted you. They underestimated you, okay? They thought that they could own you, basically, in... I don't know, I'm getting the feeling that you dipped on this person, or you've already taken care of this in some way, but they're still in your energy, okay, because they're coming up in this ring, they're still around you, they, they might currently be underestimating you, 
Um, but with karmic rewards coming, like, you, this is saying that you have handled this person correctly. Excuse me, or you're going to handle this person correctly. And because of that, you're going to get rewarded if you haven't already. And when you get rewarded, this motherfucker right here is going to get punished. Real bad. Yeah. You make me feel alive. So this person was um, is potentially also an energy vampire trying to siphon your energy and use it to fuel themselves. This is a real motherfucker right here, okay? And this could even be somebody who, like, hid this really well with this shit is complex. Like, they could have really hid this real well. They could have really known how to run this game on you. I feel like this person is an expert at this because it's who they are. You know, look, it's like we got 24 hours in a day and motherfuckers out here use every one of those fucking hours to develop whoever the fuck it is that they choose to be. And when you got a motherfucker like this right here, this man or woman, they use every one of those fucking hours to be better at being evil. And what does somebody who is evil do? They, you know, what, what do you do when you're evil? You pretend like you're good. So you can fuck with good people. Because you're evil. So, you know, if this person duped you, you don't feel bad about yourself. This person is skilled at this. Only because they have taken so much time perfecting how to be evil. But having that being that that being said, I think that that is why you were so underestimated because this person was like, I'm so fucking good at this. Like nobody maybe nobody before has bested this person before, but you did. And it's because you're an earth angel. Earth angels do not fucking play, okay? People think earth angels are just soft motherfuckers who just... <laughs> no, that's not, not at all how this shit goes. So, they fucked with the right one. Because they underestimated you. And you, like, I feel like you set a spiritual trap for this person. So maybe there is a very intimate bond between the two of you because you probably love this person because if you're an earth angel you probably love everybody whether you like them or not but creating this intimate bond was necessary to in a sense set a an angelic spiritual trap for this person to be caught by God. It's probably just what you do. That's what the fuck earth angels do. And it's not because you want to hurt them. That's the thing. They want to hurt people, but you don't. You're compassionate. You're loving. And it probably hurts you. You know, you were probably hurt real bad by this person. But just know, just know that you handled it the right way. And if this person is an issue for you right now, they won't be for long. And if this is something that you feel like you've already taken care of, I feel like the only reason that you would be guided to see a message like this is so that you can get some closure within yourself, some clarity. So that you know that you have more rewards coming if this person has left you in a fucked up situation or if, you know, you haven't already received these yet. Spirit wants you to know that you have these coming and Spirit wants you to, wants to congratulate you. And you, there might, you might not necessarily see 
the bad things that happen to this person. Because if you're an earth angel, it probably would hurt you if you actually witness this person being punished by God. But God wants you to know that that's exactly what the fuck finna happen to this motherfucker right here. And this is brilliant fucking spiritual justice at its fucking finest. <laughs> Happy birthday. Congratulations. <laughs>